Chess Club Invitational had a bit of an anticlimactic finish here today in St. Louis. Both the GM and IM Norm section did not have a clear winner. And yesterday, we found out that no players would end up with a Norm at the end of this tournament. In the Grandmaster Norms section, you can see that the IMs outplayed the GMs for the most part, and at the very top, International Masters Zerk, Sarkar, and Niemer will split the prize money. In one of the harder-fought draws in the final round, Priyadarshan and Diamant just could not clear each other. Oh. So, Gasm. make the natural move? Yeah, and I didn't expect kind of knight d5. I was, that was kind of surprising to me, this position. I thought maybe you would play somehow e4 or something. I thought e4 was interesting here. In here. Yeah, e4. I was thinking of b4, knight a4, bishop d7. I know, but this is... e5. This looked interesting to me. I prefer black here. I don't... I think white should be slightly better. Ju just d takes e5. With d takes e5, bishop takes... Uh, maybe queen takes e5. And then bishop a4. a4 b takes a4, queen knight, takes a4. Knight e8. Knight e, uh, you rook lose the bishop rook oh, on b8. So you have to play queen takes a4 or something. Then I'll play take the e7 pawn. Then c5 f6 was hanging. That's what I was calculating. Look done clear to me. I was but planning to play knight e8 if this position if this has happened. Yeah, but doesn't look anything for me. I have this knight stuck in a4. I think yeah. black's okay, no? Uh, maybe. I mean, I was just calculating this and knight d5 was like surprised to me when you just exchange the pieces. G5? Yeah, this was what I was thinking. If rook moves G4. Yeah. If you play something. In G4. Yeah. Because now I'm losing maybe. What? Now I'm losing. Yeah. So here, instead of... Uh, I can take and play rook B6, then you play rook A8. Uh, yeah, most probably rook e6, a5, rook b6, a4. Yeah, that I think would be a draw, most probably, even though I'm pawn down, I don't think yeah, you can do it. Yeah, but it's dangerous, no? Still. For white or black? For... For black, no? I'm not so sure if it would be that dangerous for me. Takes rook a8. A5, A4, Rook B1, A3, Rook A1. Oops, you're right. <laughs> yeah, now I would just play maybe King F1, King E7, King D6, King D3, King E5. So F4, E4, and now then Rook A3. That's yeah. Wrong. yeah, that's a draw. So, I don't think it was just that big blunder. After this, I think it was just drawish. Yeah. You just exchange the uh, rooks and and yeah and here I think it was uh, maybe rook b1 was as you suggested but was it yeah I was seeing this move but I wasn't so ah, sure exactly. what would happen if uh, I just play something like I mean white plays yeah, but it's a draw g4 yeah maybe or uh, maybe f4 and king f3 because when I take my king to b7 you no, just I play rook know. f6 you stay here you stay here king g7 this is just draw. How can I move my pawn? No, I don't move to your pawn. Just make draw. Yeah. I, I mean, I was thinking saying if black has to try for a win. I, but yeah. you cannot win. Though. Yeah, that's why. If I cannot win. So, and this Even was... Even against three against three, so, Yeah, after this, it's just like... Draw, no? Yeah. And the final international master norm standings, Brooks and Brigadzi tied at six apiece with Kavutsky right behind. And of course, no norms in this section either. Remember to keep up with the action at stlouischessclub.org. We're going to be having more of these tournaments in the future. This is just the beginning. And despite the indecisive finish to this tournament, the Chess Club Invitational has opened new doors and new possibilities. Mm -hmm.